What's up guys? Um, I was just at the gun shop and I picked something up. Something followed me home. Um, I don't know if I'm proud of this one or not. I'm scared. I'm nervous. All my USPSA buddies are going to be like, what the fuck did you buy? Um, I like it. I like it. Feels good in my hand. I know it's going to be reliable for a carry gun. Um, Glock 48. By the way, all weapons, I've checked these like three times before I even turn that camera on. So before I get a Nazi, all weapons are safe on this channel. Um, what I like about this, it's skinny. Very, very skinny. I can hide it well. I work as an equipment mechanic. I would never, ever conceal carry in a place that had the sign up. Most people don't have the sign up. Um, so I pretty much carry everywhere with my job. Um, I end up in some dumb places and foundries and construction sites laying under stuff. So I can really wreck a gun. I can come home and have to clean the thing out from a couple hours working on some job site and have dust and dirt packed into a gun. Um, so I wanted something that's still going to work if, uh, if I get it all jacked up with nasty dust um glock's got a great reputation uh these come with 10 round factory mags um who's it shield arms is making a 15 round steel mag uh can't wait to get my hands on one of those to try it out um enough said i'm gonna go uh burn this thing down see uh see what happens with it i'm not a glock guy so we are gonna find something out so this is uh, area 51 as we call it. This is my private home range. Um, I just got gravel thrown down today. So got a bunch of upkeep done. So it's in a little state of disarray. So uh, getting it back to normal here. Got all my steel over here and barrels and whatnot, training aids. So uh, I'm gonna use these barrels into the woods into oblivion over here. As my safe area for now. It's usually right there against the uh, the berm. Um, so I'm gonna be shooting. What do we bring out here? It's a Norma range and training ammo 115. Made in Hungary, I guess. Alright, so uh, got two BC or AC zone steels, we call them these days, and a mini little bastard steel down there, so we'll see what happens with this block. It actually recoils kind of like a 17. It's, uh, I don't know if it's the bigger beaver tail or what, but... Uh, Definitely uh, mild to shoot. Let me try another mag here. It is clear. So, I'm actually impressed. I usually don't pick up a Glock and do that. I usually overshoot everything by about... Uh, six inches when I try to go fast with it. Um, sight picture wise, I hate the Glock sights. Uh, I don't know that I'd change them though on a carry gun for me. Uh, you might want to. I'm gonna uh, shoot this a little more. All right, six plate rack, seven yards. We'll see if I can do that 191 Max Michelle did. Thing shoots really good. I'm actually impressed. Uh, it's the first Glock I've actually enjoyed shooting, so I'm gonna keep on uh, playing. All right, so this is one of my drills I use a lot. Uh, I call it the three x three. I'm sure some other people call it other stuff. 
Um, I've modified it a little bit. Um, put three cones out 10 yards away from the target you're shooting. Um, I generally use a AC zone steel for this. Um, 10 feet apart between the two cones on the sides from the center. Um, three shots from the middle cone starting position. Either side, three shots, run to the other side, three shots. It's uh, good to get your shooting and moving down and make you uh, receive that feedback from the target. Whether if it's on paper at a match, uh, you feel like you pulled the trigger. Maybe I shouldn't just take off and run like a bat out of hell and find out, you know, 20 seconds later that I had a miss. Um, maybe try to learn to feel your misses and... Uh, get that audible feel, feel, yeah, feedback from your steel. So it's good for that kind of thing. So that's it. 3x3 three three drill, don't read into it too much, just do it, have some fun, make sure you're hitting your target, uh, pretty good drill. So I mentioned I work in uh, dirty environments, weapon is clear. She's good and dirty. Try to keep it out of the mag well at least. And another one. It's still worky. So, uh, first day, Glock ownership clock 48 after shooting it uh my thoughts on it it works man uh it actually shoots damn good for a small little concealed carry gun like it is um i got it nice and dirty i actually just took it apart and <laughs> checked out the uh the guts of it there was some crud in there um and some scratches on it already um it's got glock sights on it Got that Glock trigger. Got that Glock reliability. Um, so far. I'm not going to uh, throw too much its way. But I'm impressed with it. I really am. Um, it feels great in my hand, oddly. I think it's the, the skinnier uh, single stack grip that does it. Because um, a 17 doesn't feel right in my hand. A 34, same thing. You know. Um, that full-size Glock just doesn't feel good to me. Um, it's that grip angle. This one is skinnier. Um, I think that's where people run into a little uh, issue with the trigger maybe on these is uh, it's crunchy um, and it's a small gun. It's easy to do this when you pull the trigger because it's so small and light um, and that trigger is heavy. Uh, would I buy it again? Yeah, um, definitely. I would definitely recommend it for somebody who uh, got my earplugs in still. Um, first time fire owner, firearm owner, uh, 
maybe hasn't owned too many guns. Uh, wouldn't want to get into something uh, that jams a lot with limp wristing or anything like that. I played with it a little bit after the camera was off. Uh, tried to limp wrist it a little bit and it went fine. Um, if you notice when I'm shooting out there, um, I ride the gun really, really high. Um, I've got that 1911CZ grip going on, and I actually run over the um, slide release. So if you ever see me shooting a gun on a video and it, the slide doesn't lock back, that's me. It's not the gun. Um, that's just something I do. I don't particularly care if my slide stays back last round or not because I'm usually counting in my head anyway. So if you get to that point where you go, my slide's back. Um, you weren't paying attention anyway to how many rounds you shot. Um, that's something to think about too when you're training. Uh, count your rounds. Know how many rounds you got left. Uh, you know, it's kind of the point after you've been shooting competitively for a while. It's eerie sometimes how you can finish after a, a good run and go, there's two rounds left in my mag and pull it out and there's two rounds left. Um, you just kind of know after a while. Um, that being said, yeah, I would definitely recommend this for a uh, first-time CCW guy. That's what it's for. I mean, this this isn't a range toy. This isn't a combat pistol by any means. Uh, this is going to the grocery store and hoping to not get mugged. Um, this is a lot better than something shorter um, where you don't have as much control. This is an option here because... Um, you can engage a target a little farther with that barrel and a little more comfortably um, than our super subcompact. So I like that. Um, when I get some of those shield mags, got to be a game changer for it. Me carrying 15 plus one with this guy. Um, yeah, I'd do that. It gives me a, a little extra roundage there uh, just in case I miss with that clock trigger. Um, all in all, I'm going to go uh, clean this and... Uh, I want to run some uh, good defensive ammo through it, what I would carry, maybe 100 rounds of it before I actually start carrying this. It's a good idea to make sure it works. Anybody out there that just throws rounds into a gun and says, oh, they're hornady, they'll work. Yeah. They might. Uh, that being said, catch you next time. Uh, subscribe, like, do all that crap. I'm new to the YouTube uh, videos here. I bought a $100 camera off Amazon. I hope the picture quality is good and doesn't look like it was filmed with a potato. Uh, see you guys next time.